and just do our normal thing. Okay. So, one of the things that I haven't done yet is I haven't used um, Snapchat at all. Um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, we're barely starting to use the IGTV as, as of today, which is kind of a vertical format. I, I don't want to do double duty, you know? I'm hoping that there's a way that, where I can do, we can continue doing what we normally do and then just use it for both maybe. So these videos that we're shooting right now, that are vertical format, I don't know if you can upload those into that Snapchat because the Snapchat has its own button that you push to do videos. It's not, see what we're doing for IGTV is the phone is doing the videos and they go into my phone and then I upload them into IGTV. Snapchat's not like that. It has its own thing that you have to push to, to do the videos. On your phone? On my phone. Oh. You click on the Snapchat icon which is a little yellow ghost, yeah. and this thing comes up, and it's like uh, it's like shooting a regular movie, but it has its own button. It's different from the one that comes with the camera. Okay. So, so I haven't really done anything with it yet. So my goal is to at least start getting some of these ones for IGTV done. Mm -hmm. Maybe figure out how to use that app. If I get too many ores in the water, I'll go around a circle. I'll go in circles. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in Maybe we get another tripod and use your phone. Well, you could, I don't have the, I don't have the app. So use your phone and my phone. But, but I don't have the app for those. So my goal, I guess, right now is we got to get that album up. That's the big goal. And the only thing that's holding me up right now is Tony Avila modifying that logo that we just photographed. Once he gets that back to me, I can start getting that up and ready. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and do Instagram and Facebook ads just like we planned. No, I don't like it. You want it? Yeah. I don't like it. You don't want to put soy sauce in it? Nope. Like it just like it is. If we got we got two thousand views on the Cassidy one that we did worldwide, we only got about three hundred views on the one that we did for Hold On Loosely, which was just the United States. It's kind of interesting. It's a pretty big, significant difference between the two. Yeah. Was telling us for whatever reason the region that the Cassidy video is going through they really like it. and it's still going strong mm -hmm. I think both of them are scheduled to, to, to finish on the 19th of this month It'll be interesting to see what happens in the views once that goes up yeah. <laughs> Now, when we go back tonight, assuming we have the time and the energy, I want to film that introductory video for the new album. So we need to talk about what we want to say on that video. How, how you know, I don't want it to be this big long thing. It's got to be something kind of simple. Yeah. You know, something like, you know, um, hey everybody, this is Ro, uh, here in Heart Lab studio. I'm here to announce the new the new album is out. Right. Row Tears and Smiles. And then we have to determine how much we want to say about it. Uh, this is the debut album. Um, the intent on this album in a nutshell was to try to show uh, my vocal range. Notice some of the songs you can hear me hitting those high notes. Obviously, there's going to be that mid range, and then there's some that hit the low note. Um, you'll notice that the, the songs, in terms of genre, it, it's you know it's all cover songs, 70s and 80s stuff. But the types of songs are kind of different. You know, you've got some 
kind of light things like Davy Jones and Davy Cassidy kind of stuff. And also got some rock songs, you know, Show Me the Way and the Bad Finger song. Hold on loosely. Hold on loosely. So there's a mix there. I mean, that's a southern rock song. So I guess the intent on that one was to give them a variety of types of songs and a variety in terms of the vocals. Right. Is that pretty much it in a nutshell? Well, yeah, I think so. I think it also bears mentioning that, you know, all those songs, songs that you like, to me. have yeah. some significance to you, you know, without that having time, Without right? having to go into detail on each one. Right. To say, oh, and in terms of how they were selected, these are songs that either connected to me somehow on an emotional level or reminded me of, you know, because I was a kid in the 70s and a young adult in the 80s, you know, and I clicked on it for that reason, or perhaps it was just a song that maybe I discovered fairly recently that I really liked. For example, the Batfinger song was one that, you know, I didn't have any connection to. I just right. heard that little guitar riff and somehow I liked it. Right. So, so that's three things then. The vocals, the uh, variety of music type, and then the fact that in some way or another, the song's kind of connected to me. And then we can kind of talk about what those things are, just briefly. Because we're going to still do the individual videos of each song, what each song is, why I picked the particular song. This is just for the overall thing. Right. And then um, I guess we'll mention, do we need to... Do we need to say where you can hear it and where you can upload it? Is that necessary on this particular video? Or is that it's enough just to say, and here it is? Or you can go to my social media, just keep it general. So you can hear it and you can download it um, on all kinds of social media or my different social media platforms. I don't think we want to get specific because then it becomes a long, oh, you've got Spotify, you know, there's just too many of them. Yeah. Well, I think it's important to mention those that you want to drive it to. So, uh, Spotify? Well, so Spotify is for them to see it, but they really don't. Spotify is just to hear it. I mean, to hear it, yeah, I'm sorry. They really kind of. Thank you. Can I have hot mustard? I think you, I think you want to steer them to. Insta well, they're on Instagram at this point. So if you want to steer them to YouTube, you want to steer them to Facebook, you want to steer them to those things where they track what attention you're getting. The two big ones are Spotify because of the streaming. But do they track what kind of attention you're getting? Yes. Remember I showed you on the computer? We can go in there and see. Yeah, but Spotify is really not a social media. No, it's not. It's a streaming service. Right. So I'm thinking you steer them, steer them to the social media. Say, you know, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. They're on Instagram, but, you know, that kind of stuff. Where you're going to get the attention. See what I'm saying? Don't we want to drive in the Spotify, though? Because we're hoping that down the road we have so many streams that we finally start to make a little bit of money. Yeah. Same thing with YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can say you can hear me on Spotify and Django or, you know, whatever, you know, and then and visit my pages on YouTube, Facebook, and you know, Instagram or whatever. I mean, if you watch the video on Instagram, but you have a page on Instagram that's going to have more content as, as time goes on, right? So maybe those are just text, subtext at the bottom of the page, and if you don't go through, say, you know, row, uh, yeah, whatever. Maybe, maybe we just need to verbally on the video send them to my webpage, and then say, and once you get to my webpage, from there, you can check me out on my social media and all the different streaming platforms that are out there. Yeah. And just keep it kind of. That might be a good idea. Keep it kind of simple. Right? Yeah, I agree with simple. Because some some people, you know. They go through and they give you the address for everything they've got. I don't want that. Kind of like, five minutes, you know? <laughs> and if I can figure out how to put those icons on the video, when I say that, they can actually pop up along the bottom. The Spotify, the you know, what I say. And you can find me on this, my social media and on the streaming platforms. And if those icons pop up, that's as good as mentioning them without even having to mention them. Yeah. I'm trying to think of it, if I was watching it or somebody else, you know, I wouldn't want a lot of information. I want it real simple. Mm -hmm. I get it, it's your debut album, okay? 
You're gonna give me a variety of songs, okay? Yeah. It's gonna show your vocal range from high to mid to low, okay? Each one of the songs that you chose meant something to you for a particular reason. And in future videos, I'll let you know what those reasons are. Um, if you wanna check out the new debut album, go to my official webpage. And from there, you can connect to all my other social media and streaming services. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Is that simple? Yeah, that was good. It's clear, clear, concise. No much, no fuss. No much, no fuss. And then anything else that we think it needs, we can do that with other videos down the road. Maybe it'll be cool to have those drums in the background on this video. We never did the drums in the studio when we did it when we came oh. in. We yeah, never we had, had that, that before. before. Yeah. Sitting down again, standing up, sitting down more casual. What about sitting on the couch? With the drums in the background. Yeah. Or the couch is kind of low. It's kind of hard to be kind of animated with it. Yeah. When I was sitting up on that bench, I could kind of, you know. Yeah. On that, on that stool, it was a lot easier. It's kind of odd how they gave us the rice separate. Yeah. Soft noodle right now? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder how the sound's gonna pick us up in here. We'll find out. <laughs> find out. So if that's all we cover on that video, it ought to be pretty easy. We'll write this stuff on the whiteboard so I will remember it. I would rather have the information there just as an outline rather than how I'm gonna say it and then just go for it. Yeah. Much easier to sound natural that yeah, way. Yeah, just I'm gonna talk to somebody like I'm talking to them regular. Now we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do it in a vertical format. That way we can use it for the uh, IGTV. I thought that's what we were doing it for. Or are you planning on putting that on YouTube? I was gonna put it on YouTube too. Can you do that? Can you do a book format in the video? We might have to do two. I don't know how a video format or a vertical format is gonna be. You know, it, it, I think that's the catch with this IGTV and the YouTube thing is I don't think they did it accidentally to make the two formats different. We might have. Well, you know what we could do? When we leave here, just remember to Best Buy, see if we can find a cheap one of these that'll hold my phone and turn mine sideways. You do them at the same time? Do, yeah. Do the YouTube with that one and then use yours for the Instagram because you've got the, the, the that app. That way we don't have to. Yeah. Not genius. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to do it twice. Exactly. And if one's better than the other, we're like, oh. Exactly. So we'll just use two phones and record them both at the same time. Two different sideways formats. I can just download mine from my phone to your computer and then you can load it up to YouTube like you can one of those type of things. See why I have him here? <laughs> this is why.
Gary V has D Rock, I have Dom Goosh. <laughs> Still running? Looks like it. That's a great idea. And maybe we just start getting used to that. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't like that, this big Pooh Young stuff, the little patty down there with the gravy, but as I've gotten older, I, I like it more, as long as I get it when it's nice and hot and fresh. Yeah. Yeah. If it's day old, not so much. Yeah. No, it's not good left over. I've never really liked this part. Not that much. It's just slimy. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta find some uses for that Snapchat. I'm trying to figure out a way for us to use all this stuff and not just make it a burden. You know? yeah. I have no problem with you know what we're doing now because we have these conversations all the time, so right. no big deal. And I can edit that stuff easy. I want to make more work just so that we have to use that that Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe the Snapchat becomes, I don't know, I was going to say maybe it becomes the thing for when I'm out, when I'm on the go, you know, where I'm doing things just kind of quickly like that, you know, as opposed to what we're doing, you know, here tonight. Right. I don't feel we're using it. At all. Well, we're not using it at all right now, so we're, I feel like we're missing an opportunity. singles. Mm -hmm. I'm not a math wizard. What's 12 times? 24,000. That's a, that's a mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I mean, we're at, we're uh, almost at 4,000 already, overall, already. it all together on that iMovie. I think it's going to be kind of cool. Be, I think it's going to be kind of like when, when I do performances, how after I'm done, I'm kind of like, well, I guess it's okay. And then I watch it, I go, oh, shit, that's pretty good. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen on this, too. I've been using uh, Twitter, um, and I've been, uh, what's Gary Vee call it? Hacking culture. For example, Frampton's coming. So I use that as an opportunity to um, send out a tweet that I covered one of his songs and simultaneously mention the fact that he's coming to Fresno and I gave the day and the time and all that kind of stuff. So I packed the culture there and that kind of thing. So I've been looking out for those kind of things. 
We haven't gotten much response on any of that yet, but you know, I don't have a whole lot of people following me just yet. But, yeah. uh, remember, Twitter has hashtags, so people are seeing it. I, actually, I also sent one out on, there was a, it's funny because it, it tells you what the top hashtags are every day, you know, and one of it was International Chocolate Day. So I sent out a tweet and said, Happy International you know, Chocolate Day, and then I said, I told him what my favorite candy bar was, my favorite chocolate, you know, and I used it again, I hacked some culture there. Mm -hmm. And there was the other one that came up, there was another event that came up where I said, oh, this is a perfect opportunity. Oh, the soccer, the soccer thing. Oh, yeah. When Mexico was still in it. Yeah. So I put out a tweet before they had lost. <laughs> I was like, come on, Mexico. I think I'm okay. No, okay. Yes. And then I put a tweet after, I was all bummed out, and on that one, I found a, one of those, what do they call them, gifts, 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 mm -hmm. gifts, and it was Mr. Spock smashing the computer, like he was upset. <laughs> you showed me that one, yeah. <laughs> I put that one on there. <laughs> that allowed me to add some hashtags that dealt with Star Trek, I'm a Star Trek guy, so, you know, yeah. being authentic, being genuine, I love that. Oh, it was international. No, it was National Fried Chicken Day. Oh, really? It was National Fried Chicken Day. So I put my two cents and said I was a Kentucky Fried Chicken guy, and then my favorite was my, that I was partial to the original recipe, you know. And I put a little picture of a, a little girl that I found who was like licking her fingers. Each time I've been putting on a Twitter, I've been trying to find a little gift that goes with it. Gift, 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 gift. Each one, I'm trying to find one. And so it was some little girl licking her fingers, you know. And on the chocolate one. Yeah, uh, what was it? What did I put on the chocolate one? Uh, oh, um, I'm a huge fan of that 70s show. Mm. And Fez is a freaking candy addict. Yeah. And I found a picture of Fez where he was like, he had just finished eating chocolate. He had chocolate all over his face. And he was like making his little fingers. I put that on there. And then that allowed me to hashtag that 70s show. And again, mm. into that show. So, mm -hmm. so I'm doing my work. I'm, yeah. You may not know it, but behind the scenes, I'm doing it. Yeah, so, and I'm trying to treat it the way I would want to see it. If somebody's, if I was looking at somebody, I want whatever they say to be really brief. And I don't mind a little gift because it just makes it kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. Not somebody big old long thing. So that's what, I, that's what I've been, those are the ones I've done so far. And then I did, uh, I did tweets on the... Uh, Stuff that I did in Tennessee. I put pictures, one little picture on each one. I'm trying to make sure that there's a graphic image for each one. Whether it's a picture or a gift, one or the other. We get tonight's one done, which I don't think it's gonna take very long. We're gonna be in good shape. I was wondering too while I was you know, while I was working on the that little tactile drawing. Before I'd even started, you know, I was looking down at it, I had my piece of vellum over the top of it, you know. I was thinking, what is this thing going to look like when I'm done? Like, I kind of thought I knew in my head, you know, but I wasn't quite sure. And then I, first thing I had to do was to ink it, you know. And it was funny, you know, it's been a while since I did a little art, art project, you know. And I was listening to my own mind, my, I, was, I was listening in my own mind to what I tell the students, you know, when you're going to start tracing or inking something, if you go too slow, you know, it'll, you'll skirt, you just got to go for it, you know. So I sat there and I looked at it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put one down, and then I'm just going to take my Sharpie and, as a practice run. I just did, boom, I just started going for it, you know, like that, you know, just to kind of remind myself, you do this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, you're a black belt, you, you can do this, no problem. And so sure enough, after I did it, you know, and I kind of played around with it, it's like, it's like oh, Okay, it's not a big deal. And I just pulled off a sheet, put another one on it, and I just started going for it. And I just kept going and kept going. And I'm glad I did the practice one because the practice one helped me know where to start and stop on the lines because, you know, I had to kind of think about it. So I had the practice one next to me so I could look at it and knew right where to stop and where to start and stuff. And I just went and said, once the ink part was done, in my mind, that was the hard part. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, 
It's amazing now. Yeah. And I just got out my colored pencil and I said, okay, I'm gonna start with the black. I started working my way down with the black. And I only I went about halfway down and then left a big gap because that's where the color kind of comes in and says, okay, now I'm gonna work on the color and I'm gonna kind of work my way up on the color because then I knew I had to blend it. I blended it kind of uh, in layers, where I kind of did it one time. It was all blended, but it, all of it, including the black, it was all done kind of light. It was there. And then I said, okay, it needs to be darker. So I did the black darker, and then the teardrop and the smog. Up there. Everything started getting darker each time I did like a, a layer on it. I was a little nervous on the tears and smile words because they're small. Yeah. I had to keep my colored pencil real sharp. In fact, I had forgotten to bring the electric sharpener from school, and I had to run back and get it. And on that one, and Man, I don't see as good as I used to, you know, so I had, yeah. my, glass, I had my glasses on and so I'm kind of going like this with my head a little bit and it's really sharp and I'm like following the, you know, the letter. And the first time I did it, it was all kind of, the orange and the blue were kind of one tone, kind of medium. And I was a little worried they weren't going to pop. And that's when I said, you know, I'm going to go back in there with the same exact color and go around the edge, just really sharp and close and pop out the outside edge and that helped a lot and I think the camera I was worried the camera wasn't going to pick it up if it was just kind of flat and one consistent shade mm -hmm. but every time I went over it I liked it more and more and more and I got happier and happier and happier and I was like I haven't lost my touch <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? Uh, what's that phrase they say? If you're an expert, when it's a uh, unconditioned response. You know, uh, yeah, is that, is that the phrase? Um, instinctual response. Yeah. Instinctual response. Yeah, when it's yeah. an instinctual response, like catching a ball. It's instinctual. Once I started going, it just boom. Going down. Yeah. <laughs> it was all instinct, instinctual response kicked in. I think the only thing I was worried about is how was it going to photograph and whether or not Tony could. But I think now that I've seen it, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. And I've looked at a lot of other album covers from the past, you know, especially from the past. Some of them look like little kids do the covers on them, you know, so. I'm gonna do it myself. Because I was wrestling in my head, I thought, I should just use the computer logo because it's crisp and clean and sharp and beautiful colors and stuff. I'm so tempted, and I go, and it's easy, I don't have to do anything, it's ready to go, I can do it right now. And I thought, no, I'll be disappointed with myself if I may not have done that. And even though this is gonna have a little bit of a more crude kind of look to it, it's kind of retro, and it's kind of a retro 70s, 80s kind of thing, so it seems more appropriate. And I want to do every one of the album covers by, by hand. And I have the original now, I'm going to put it in a little frame and stick it in the studio. I signed it and dated it. Someday we'll say we'll sell it for millions of dollars. <laughs> I just hope I'm not dead. <laughs> the original copy. There's only one. If it's missing in the studio, he probably has it. <laughs> I need a box. I think we're good. So we're gonna go to Best Buy. We're gonna buy another trailer. Pretty good ones, you think? No tripods. I should be all right. I don't know. Yeah. Another little tripod. Yeah. And then we'll film vertical and horizontal simultaneously. That'll just be our way to do it in the studio. I think that makes sense. Tomorrow, I'll just get my. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, and then when we start doing other filming with yours? Yeah, so that's even better a, camera. Yeah, yeah, that's even better. Yeah. Can I get a box? Okay, one? Two. Yeah. If you want to come by with your iPhone 8 and, and shoot some more of those pictures before I send it to Tony, you can. I don't know what you got going on. It's tomorrow, Friday, right? Not right. You're going to get it during the daytime? Should, yeah. Um, our RIT guys will be bringing this down tomorrow. Maybe, um, 
I know the camera's better because I've heard my students talk about it. And when I was shopping for mine, I said, well, should I get the 8 or the 10 or whatever? And they said, well, if they're the same cameras. The only difference is the photography part of it is better. Which on the 10. On the 10, probably an 8 too. But, but if, if you're not shooting stuff professionally, who cares? I think Tony's got what we need, though. I think that one's probably just fine. I mean, it's going to get shrunk down to this big. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me give you this now. Okay. Uh, do you do American I'll come, I'll come, uh, Yes, I come back, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to that on. Oh, you're not? Okay. okay we're going to see what our fortunes are. I put my glasses on so I can see. It's so, going to say your, your logo is going to be beautiful. Alright, let's see what this says. Ooh, mine says, share your abundant humor with others. Share your abundant humor with others. What's your say, Dr. Mine says, pleasures await you by the seashore. Ooh, the rendezvous. <laughs> I don't know anybody named Sally. Oh, it's not Sally, is it? It's just she. She sells sea seashells down by the seashore. So, I guess in that case, I could find out who she is. I don't know if I want any seashells, but. I like this stuff here. I don't like that other stuff. I'm going to it right on top of there. A couple pieces of chicken. Go. It might actually, you know, when we start doing it more and more of this video too, it might be to our benefit to chop it up even more, you know, where they're like really quick little snippets, you know. There's something just kind of cool. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool, even if it's like just a really short one. Boom! Send that sucker up. We're geniuses even when we're just sitting here. <laughs> she took it? Yeah? I think so.